Welcome to episode number 10 of this latest Bio tutorial series. In this episode, we will implement a mana system so that playing cards is not free. Let's start. First of all, let's create the mana UI so that we can see when the mana changes. For this, we create a new object under our canvas and give it an image component. We set the size to the image size and set its position to be in the lower left corner. We also add a UI text mesh pro here for the mana text. Then we also style the text a bit so that it fits well. Next, let's create a mana UI script. Inside the script, we first reference our text and then we create a public method that will update the text. Back in Unity, we have to add the mana UI script to our mana UI game object and we also set the reference to the text. The UI is done so far, but we need a way to change our mana. For this, we create a spend mana game action and also we need a refill mana game action later. So let's create it as well. The spend mana game action will only hold the amount that we want to spend. And we also want it to be a game action of course. The refill mana game action will not hold any data, so it will stay empty. Next, we need a mana system. This will hold our current mana and will also have our mana performers. Let's make it a singleton, because we want to be able to interact with the system directly as well. We first reference our mana UI. Then we also need a const int for the maximum mana and another int for the current mana. The system will also hold two performers. The spent mana performer and the refill mana performer. The spent mana performer will reduce the current mana by the amount in the spent mana game action and will then update the UI. Because we have nothing to wait for and we want our mana to be removed instantly, we will just have a yield return null at the end. For the refill, we do something very similar, but we set the current mana to the max mana instead. Like always, we have to attach our performers to the action system. We also need a way to check if we have enough mana. For this, let's create a simple bool method. This is also the reason why we want the system to be a singleton. In our card view script, in the onmouse up, we add another condition to our if statement. We only want to be able to play a card when we have enough mana. In the card system script, we of course also want to spend our mana when we play a card. In the play card performer, we therefore create a new spend mana game action and add it as reaction to the action system. In Unity, we now have to create a new game object for our mana system. We also have to assign the mana UI reference. In play mode, you can now see that we spend our mana when we play cards. But we still are not refilling it when we start a new turn. For this, we just have to add a reaction method in the mana system. This will be the post reaction to the enemy turn. It will create a refill mana game action and add it to the action system as reaction. We also have to subscribe and unsubscribe the reaction. Make sure the timing is post here. Now back in Unity and play mode we can see that we can spend mana. We also cannot play cards when the mana is empty. And when we end the turn and start a new one, we also refill our mana. Great. We have the base for our card systems now. 
But for a Slay the Spire type game we also need some characters, like enemies and our hero. In the next episode we will create the views for the enemy and for the hero. If you want to support me, please leave a like and a sub, it helps me a lot. Thank you for watching and see you next time.